Welcome to Julie the Thrifty Designer. Hey, today I'm going to take a break from Valentine's decorating because it's over with. And just before we decide to really start getting into St. Patty's Day decorating, I'm going to go ahead and do a small amount of my um, old world Tuscan English cottage decorating. And let's see what that is going to look like. Let's kind of look it over, tiny pieces at a time. Look at there, and you might recognize that is that ginger jar that I bought and showed in my haul not too long ago. And then this is a Tuscan piece I've had for a, quite a long time. Again, it was a thrift store find. Um, I pay like two bucks for it, and the ginger jar was $3.99, or $4.99. I can't remember. It's one of those two, anyway. And then this is just one of those uh, lanterns that I've had that you can, uh, with batteries, and turn it on, and I forgot to turn them on, but that's okay. And out in front of it, I just simply have some greenery and a red grape. And these, even though it's kind of hard to tell in the coloring, it's actually amber colored. It's very stunning together. What a neat little kind of trio that makes right there. Okay, let's check out the center here. I have a candle. I would turn it on, but it's actually on a timer and it's already set to go off at night. And I don't really want to mess with, have to set the timer on it again. So I'm being lazy, sorry. <laughs> but there's that ginger jar. And then there is that absolutely amazing fruit bowl. I just think it's gorgeous. Again, I have my signature Christmas lights and I have things lifted on books to give just that age time feeling. And I think it's gorgeous. Love how it's starting to look. Now back to my kind of opening scene. I absolutely love this Tuscan jar here. And I just simply insert one of the Christmas lights to go inside of it so it glows. And I've put it on a, a doily, which gives us that English feel, yet that's Tuscan in Old World. And yet here's this amazing bowl, which I really did just put, it's so dark you can't see it very well, but up in there is a lot of that amazing fake fruit. And I have grapes hanging. Oh, I didn't really realize that this was showing. Oh well, <laughs> I'll have to mess with it later to make sure it doesn't show for permanently. And again, another one of those just really nice, pretty lanterns. So you can see my Tuscan look as it pulled together on this shelf. This is the shelf that's in my TV room right next to my fireplace. And also to the back behind the candle, which I didn't say anything about. Look at that beautiful. I've had it for a long time as well. And it's just background color is a goldish kind of plate just for color. And then that beautiful, uh, I'm not even sure what you call those, but it would be hanging on the wall or just, I, I don't know. It's just an amazing, beautiful piece that's so old world and Tuscan. All right, here up on top, <laughs> I'm do my pheasants live up here. I just think they're beautiful. I have no real reason to take them down. And so I just try to kind of change it up per season around them. And I have that faith sign that says faith is not believing that God can. It is knowing that God will. Isn't that beautiful? I actually got the print itself from the Dollar Tree, oh, probably four or more years ago. And then I just simply framed it from there and made it work. But in front of it, I have just uh, put a, from the Dollar Tree this year, this blue little orb. And I just set it on a lift because from down low, you don't see it. Now I'm holding the camera way up high, so you're seeing the lift I have on it. But from my angle, you really actually don't usually see that lift. But it gives that spot of blue. Then also here, 
This is also from the Dollar Tree, although I think they're gone now. But it was blue, even though it kind of looks purple here, it really is blue. Roses that I just simply stuck right around all that greenery that stays there. And I left the berries because there would be berries for the birds to eat in the natural. And I same over here. I added more of the blue just to bring in the blue. But you can see I have the red berries and the blue. I think it looks very old world. And yet the blue brings in that little bit of English cottage. Okay, now you can see it all pulled together. Now this is just a plain cabinet, you know, has nothing more to it to show, just a little bit that I do on top. But I like that. I think it really has the English cottage, yet it definitely has all of that wonderful flair of the old world Tuscan look. Because I mean, even at the top in the middle right here, I forgot to even talk about it. I have this metal iron thing that I picked up from the thrift store years ago. And it doesn't, it's not part of this cabinet. So I just have it leaning against something, but it sticks up and gives some old world charm to this plain basic cabinet. It's a great storage cabinet. So anyway, I really like how this has turned out. It really has pulled together the old world look and English cottage. It's very charming, very homey, and that's the American way and the English way says homely. It's kind of odd how we speak differently because <laughs> here in America, homely means not so pretty and kind of plain and simple. And homey means beautiful, relaxing and peaceful. Now, I don't know what homey means in England, but homely for them means relaxing, peaceful, and beautiful. So it's an interchangeable word for us Americans, I suppose, if we want to put the meaning to it. So it's a homey, homely feeling here. <laughs> I'm being silly, but it's the truth on that. So I just hope you all enjoy this moment of seeing a very feel, a feel that makes you just feel relaxed and peaceful. So thank you guys for watching and you all take care and God bless and happy decorating.